Brian Noyes is known for his delicious red truck bakeries in Northern Virginia. Even U.S. presidents and movie stars confess that they can't get enough of Brian's delectable desserts and baked goods. Today, Brian shares his recipe for a charming old-fashioned strawberry buckle. My friend, I see you zesting a lemon into a bowl of sugar. Tell me what you're doing. I learned long ago you get more bang for your buck if you zest the lemon into the sugar and let it infuse. And it, it, it pulls out almost twice as much flavor, plus the, the little pores on the lemon zest never close up. And it's, really? It's pretty incredible. And this is step one of what you're going to show me to make today, which is a strawberry buckle. So I think of buckles as sort of the cross between a good coffee cake and a cobbler, because it's cakey, but it's fruity. It's, it's very easy, and you get so much great flavor out of it. Yeah. Well, the, oh, and the aroma. The, the more you rub, the more the pores open up, the more the flavor um, takes over. And then we're going to add Looks like butter, is that what you've got it here for us? It is softened butter, it's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, makes it a lot easier to combine. And now you're gonna stir that up? We are gonna cream away. All right, I can do that, or you can do that while I watch. You tell me, but it looks let's like, go, we good for an egg? Let's just go a little bit more. A little gonna, bit more? I'm gonna so do a little bit So what am I looking better. here for? Lift up the butter and show me what I'm looking for here. Okay, so, so we like lemony color, kind of buttery lemony. Okay. But we'd also like fluff. That is beautiful. That okay, so you're adding flour. We're gonna put right. a little baking powder okay. in there and then some salt. Got it. And I'm gonna keep what playing a simple here. batter. Anybody would just have this right at home in their pantry. I love that you, like me, sift with one of these. And of course, not only are we getting out lumps, we're just, you were telling me that, of course, the sifting action is what is combining our leavening in there as well. Tell me what we've got in our measuring cup here. What is this? So we have some full fat buttermilk. It's really important not to go for the fat free or the low right. fat because fat carries flavor. And um, in fact, some of the acidity uh, is gone without it. Yes, is it all buttermilk or is this blended there, with something? There is some heavy cream in there as well. Now I'm going to add vanilla, a good glug. Are we measuring what is approximately a good glug, about a teaspoon and a half? Yeah, so a teaspoon and a half is okay. half of a tablespoon. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that looks, you know, when a recipe says it should look like cake batter, well, by golly, it looks like cake batter. So how do we add this in? You don't have to really measure it out, but just add a third of this. Okay. Then I add half of the liquid. Uh -huh. Then I add the second third of the flour mixture. Uh -huh. Then I add the rest of the liquid, right. and then I always finish with the dry. That is wonderful. All right, looks like our batter is done. Okay. Are you a beater liquor? Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, 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 and I was an only child, so I didn't have to share it with anybody. So we're just gonna plunk that batter down in here and that goes first. It looks shiny, so it's been greasy. For a quick release. Right, and that does make a difference. So this batter is really stiff, and is, we're gonna smooth it out to fill, or does it we scoot out in the We are not smoothing oven? it out. Ah. Uh, I would like to take a spoon, or maybe even that fork okay. there, and just kind of like smudge it around. Smudge to the edges? Yeah, get it to the edges. Okay. Yeah, All right. it won't spread a whole lot, but um, I don't want a flat top on this. Now, thing. I see those gorgeous berries. Tell me, have you done anything to these berries other than start to cap them? They're just whole? Well, I've eaten a couple. Okay, that's, that makes sense. And then I took the tops off. I brought you a gift. So many people don't know about this. Have you ever seen one of these guys? No. It's called a tomato shark, and it's four Corian tomatoes. I gotta show you this. So instead of cutting the end of your berry off, look at this. You just put this little guy in the little teeth, takes the cap right out, and leaves the berry intact. Oh, excellent. I love these little things, because it saves more of the berry. All I do is make sure that that cut gets buried into the batter. Got it. So whatever the cut side might be, that goes down. Right. If it's a big, fat strawberry, mm -hmm. we'll just make sure the cut side goes okay. down. Now, I see turbinado sugar. Tell me what we're going to do with that. Yeah, it's known as sugar in the raw, but mm -hmm. we always call it turbinado. This it's add adds crunch. a real crunch 
to an otherwise buttery, soft, pillowy mm -hmm. dough. It also protects the berries in the oven. And it does it really? It won't dry them out, it won't char them. And then this just goes in, what, about a 350 degree oven right. and things, and bakes until a tester comes out? That's right. You know, uh, I might give it like 40 minutes or so. It, okay. it all depends on the vessel, the oven. Okay, do you know what? Let's get this in the oven so I can tidy up, and then when our cake's done, we get to eat it, right? Um, if you're lucky. Well, look what we made. Look at this, friend. Just like you promised, look what that sugar did to make that crust and around it. And our little whole berries are still in there. Oh, listen. One beautiful mm -hmm. thing about this batter is the, that zest and the infused sugar really perfumes um, the, the mix itself. Right. Really changes the color. And I love how this is homey, but yet elegant. You know, it looks like a carefully orchestrated buckle, but we just put those berries on there, as you said, be random, and it yes. all worked out. Let's get this bite here. The aroma is phenomenal. Mmm. Mmm. It's strawberry. Yeah, the lemon's doing its role, the cream's doing its role, but this is a strawberry dessert. We could win friends and influence people with this, couldn't we? We're well on our way. I'm so lucky I won you as your friend. Thank you, oh my, my friend. You're the very nicest.